Fuck me. Look at it. It's beautiful. Here's the vicar. Hello. Good afternoon. Scott. Scott. Gordon, nice to see you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, you are the... I'm the owner. Owner. Good to see yes. you. What a beautiful place. Thank you very much. Huh? Amazing. It's, it is magnificent, isn't it? That's beautiful. And the cafe's been here for 20 years? Yes. So it's almost sort of the heartbeat of the restaurant? Yeah, it's the tradition around here. If you talk to people uh, about the priory in Hayward Seath, then they will, you know, they will say, oh, yeah, I've been there, but they've all been for carvery. Never been to a carvery for ages. Last time I went, I think it was um, back in 1982, called the Burnie Inn. And it was a Sunday lunch, and it was fucking ghastly. The Priory's food must be denture friendly. This place is rammed with the Blue Rinse Brigade. I'm the youngest here by miles. It's almost like they've opened a soup kitchen for the elderly. And it's a sort of glamorous old people's home. But my age concern is explained when the golden oldies keep turning up with suspicious looking vouchers from the local papers. We offer two meals for price of one. It's 9 99 for. Is that for. That's for your carvery. You put a discount on 9 99 We do. Is so, how much discount? Um, it's buy one, get one free. Um, so it's 50%. It, um, so you eat here for five of them? Um, yes. I'm starting to feel left out. Am I the only one here without a voucher? Did you bring your coupon? Yes, I did, yep, two. And did you bring your voucher today? Yes, yes. And did you bring your coupon? No, that's <laughs> what we get. That's what we I mean, it's cheaper to come here than it is cooking at home. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, for two of us, we're a really marvellous value. You must have dementia to only let half your punters pay. No wonder this business is losing money. The food's a bargain, assuming it's up to scratch. Toby's the Priory's head chef. His claim to fame was a stint at Planet Hollywood. He's the starship trooper in charge of the carvery. I don't very much eat roast dinners when I'm at home nowadays. I earn them every day, but I still eat them. As you say, never trust a skinny chef, do you? His sidekick, Bob, is the part-time carvery chef. Right, what have we got? You've got turkey here. Yes. Right, you've got a um, gammon, river beef, pork and lamb. Mm. So these are done every day? These are every day, yeah. So what, what, what stuffing That's is that? That's peach and nut bound with an orange juice. And it's rather nice, though, they tell us. Peach and nut bound yeah. with orange juice? Yeah. And that's a dauphinoise. Bloody hell, this is a throwback, isn't it? I'll have a little bit of the dauphinoise. OK. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Jesus. And all that for a fiver? Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy it, Gordon. Roast potatoes cooked to fuck and stuffing that was like sort of trying to cut through a silicon implant. And it. Oh dear. Yorkshire pudding, well, soggy. And turkey, well, bloody hell. It's just so dry. Tasty. Even the quality of the beef. It's dry. Shopping. We're still stuck in the doldrums here, and all I've had today so far has been shit. Shit at its best. Stiff Scott certainly got himself a celestial building, but that pitiful excuse of a carvery is a mortal sin. Okay, right, who haven't I met? I haven't met. Right, Matt. Matt, good to see you. And you do. General manager. General manager. Owner? General manager. And you oh, must Stuart. be the kitchen manager. No, no, no. He <laughs> was. That's his department. No, Stuart. Stuart. And what are you, buddy? Uh, I generally do the general cooking of the veg and general. Right. The kitchen. Okay, this man we, we you met. Know me. You look so different with your hat off. I know. Good yeah. Good to see you, buddy. Good. I'm Tom. Tom. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm a trainee chef. Trainee chef. Yeah. Excellent. Good. And you're studying uh, hey? cooking. <laughs> Good. And this is Toby. Toby. Yeah. How chef. are you? I'm not bad. Good. Head chef. Yeah. Good. And you're completely responsible for? Yeah. Everything that goes on. So the whole food? Yeah, yeah the whole food. Yeah? yeah. So uh, Matt cooks some of that sometimes. Up sometimes. So you're a chef as well? Uh, I've trained as a chef, yeah. Oh, good. Ago, yeah. So proper all-round general manager? Uh, I'd like to think so, yeah. I was really excited when I walked in. I was, seriously, walked up the stairs and, Christ, it's quite breathtaking walking through that door. And unfortunately, the carvery, it was dry, it was hideous, 
It was overcooked and it tasted of nothing. Sat alongside plastic Yorkshire puddings that I wouldn't even use as a fucking ice hockey pot. I mean, you know, as a chef to chef, right. let's be honest, you can't call yourself a chef if you serve that shit. And I'm not just blaming you. I've got to bring in the general manager. Yeah? Yeah, take it on board. I yeah, have it's to just. Important yeah. to blame, of course I do. Yeah, but, you know, it, 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 it was bad. Huh? I mean, the whole experience was bad. Then you look around and you look at the customers. Half of them would be eaten for nothing. Uh, yeah, on, yeah, on the buy one, get on free vouchers that have been in place historically to attract people through the door. The spend per head is very low because. But more importantly, they're dying off, aren't they? Well, yeah. I, I was mean, the youngest one in there by 40 years today. It's the first time I've sat in fucking a dining room and felt so young. We're going down quickly, yet no one seems to realise how quickly we are sinking. Fuck me, there's some cobwebs that need blasting here, I tell you. You rated the food on a 10. So far, what I've tasted, I'm embarrassed. That's too bad.